was okay. Graduation practice is going to be hectic. Graduation night is hectic. I don't actually speak to you. Uh, so this will probably be our last time together. And there's a few things I want to tell you before you leave. Um, one is, this is a very, very special class. And uh, Miss Prince has been with me um, for 10 years out of my 11 years as a high school principal. And this may be, if not, the nicest group of kids that's ever come through this school. And I'll be very sincere. In my opinion, listen up, I won't take long, I promise. In my opinion, you epitomize what Owens for High School is truly about. And I hope you take those skills and those character traits into your world where you're getting ready to go. There are three things that I tell every senior class before they leave. And this is old woman, grandma advice, okay? Be kind and respectful to everyone you meet. I promise, no matter how bad you have it at that moment, somebody else that's in your circle has it worse. Be kind and respectful to everyone. Work hard. Whatever you're doing, work hard. Don't have regrets later because you didn't get it all you had. Does that make sense? And don't blame other people if you've not worked hard and you don't get it. Okay? And the third thing is, go after your dream. Don't settle. You go after your dream and you get what you deserve. Don't settle for less because you deserve the best. I'm going to close with something Miss Howe, one of your teachers, has written for you. And it's truly, truly, um, it's truly something about this class. Taylor Swift writes, no matter what happens in your life, be good to people because being good to, be, to people is a good legacy to leave behind. Class of 2013, I think one of your greatest legacies is your compassion. In this desensitized world, I have personally witnessed not only your excellent academics and your accomplishments and extracurricular activities, I have seen your sincere concern for your fellow classmates and for your teachers. I find this compassion to be a rare quality and one that I hope you will always share because this concern for your fellow mankind makes the world a far better place in which to live. I want to thank you for the honor of teaching and knowing you and for the compassion you've shown me over the years. I have no doubt that you can find and will do great things in your lifetime, but hold tight to that compassion for it's truly unique. I leave with you with a quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson, a writer that I greatly admire. To leave the world a better place, to know even one life has breathed easier because you have lived, this is to have succeeded. I wish each of you the best, and I'm so proud of all of you. Congratulations, class of 2013. <laughs> Ms. Prince has worked very, very hard. Ms. Prince and some of our parents have worked very hard to plan some very special events for you. You have a senior breakfast. You're getting ready to go bowling. You're going to have a senior picnic. You're going to have a service project. Lots of things for you to uh, please be involved uh, in. Uh, take part of those because graduation night will be the last time your class will be together. You will never ever all be together again. It will not happen. Okay? So please take advantage of that. What? So that's you, Zach Manning. They'll never be all together. They will never all be together. Okay, Ms. Prince, what's that? Okay, thank you. One thing I need to mention, uh, your class t-shirt,
first design is a very special design by Chandler Thompson, your classmate, who probably will be a professional artist here in a few years. So this might be worth money down the road. You never know. Ten years from now, somebody might say, hey, do you have that t-shirt from Chandler Thompson? <laughs> never know. Okay. We've got a special guest speaker today, our keynote speaker. His name is Lewanis McNeil. He is the Dean of Student Affairs at Owensboro Community and Technical College, and I'm going to turn it over to him. Good morning, everybody. Before we get started, I won't hold you long. I know you guys got some things planned today. Let's give Ms. Burnett a hand again. That was awesome. A lot of the things that she said that I was going to say, so I'll move on to something else. Okay, first of all, I want to hear you all make some noise this morning. Come on now, y'all about to graduate. Come on, make some noise. Chris said, my name is Louise McDill, Associate Dean of Student Affairs at the college, the Orangeboro Community Technical College. So I'm, I'm, going, I'm not really going to talk about OCTC today. I'm going to talk about you and your dreams that you had and the preparation that you've made to this point. Because for the last four years, you've, you've pretty much done the same thing. You come to school, you learn, you learn, you, you hang out with your friends, you do things, you've prepared for this moment. So now I think within a week or so, things are going to change. Uh, what week, week and a half, 17, you know, things are going to change after that. Some of you already have these things planned, where you're going to school, all that, some may not. But the message I wanted to bring to you today was that the opportunity exists for you to be successful. So whatever that may be, again, some have already planned for college, you know where you're going, you know what you're going to do. Some haven't figured it out just yet. That's a lot. It will happen. But some of the things that Ms. Burnett talked about, about the hard work, about being kind to folks. One of the things I wanted to stress today was the preparation for whatever you decide to do. You're about to enter a new chapter in your life. You're, you're about to go out into the world and you're going to make your mark. How, how many people, by show of hands, want to be successful? Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't think we have people in here that don't want to be successful. Now, again, you get out of it what you put into it. It's very simple. That machine back there in the corner, it's not just dropping uh, royal crowns or, or big red pops or bottles of water. You've got to put money into that. So the work that you put into, whether it's your college, whether it's your job, you'll reap those benefits later as you're doing now. The work that you've put into the last four years to reach this point. There'll be roadblocks. You'll, you'll won't feel like going to class when you go to college. You won't feel like going to class, but there'll be roadblocks. They'll, but these are things that you'll need to do. It's all about preparing yourself for the moment. The last four years you've spent preparing yourself for this moment. Does it feel good? Does it feel good? Yeah. All right, okay. So whether, wherever you decide to go to school, I, I work for OCTC, I would love to see all your faces there, but I know the reality of that. But what I really do want to see is that you go on and you do something. Prepare yourself to be great. You think about all the people who are who are great in this world, people who have influenced your life, whether it's people that are famous or people that are not famous. But I want you to take a look at the people that are around you. You have examples in your life every day. I got basketball fans in here, right? Okay, NBA playoffs is going on right now. You look at those guys and the work that they put in to be successful. They, they didn't just get to that point. You look at the leaders of our country. You look at people that are in different positions. We're not just talking sports. People have put in the work to get to that point. Now your opportunity is coming. 
We know the end goal. We know what we want to be, or we think we know what we want to be, or where we're headed. Now is the point where you start putting in the work to get to that goal. Again, I really want to congratulate all of you for this step. This is a huge, monumental step. Um, I just a few years ago, that seemed like it was gray hair in my head, but I remember graduating, wondering what I was going to do. So my message to you is that the opportunity exists for you to be successful. Again, I know you got a long day pl uh, planned today, but take advantage of the opportunities as they come. When you go to college, when you go off to college, <clears throat> or if you're going to college here, get involved with what's going on on campus. Don't just go to class, come back to your room, go to class, come back home. Get involved, because what you're doing is you're starting to network with people. Just like you've done for the last four years. You network, you make friends, you'll do that at college. And those relationships will be very beneficial to you as you graduate from college and you're in the business world. Those that are going to be working directly after, it's the same thing. Network with those folks that you're going to be around because you never know. And be kind to them because you never know when you're going to come back across someone again. I wish you all the best uh, as you pursue your dreams and your goals. Uh, again, if you, any of you should ever need anything that I can help you with at the college, uh, this Prince has my information. Congratulations to you all again. graduation. They've been behind the scenes getting things ready for you and helping out. So please give them a round of applause. <laughs> now the moment we've all really been waiting for. I need Michael Bailey and Mira Patel to come up for the Renewal Week.
Remember when Jacob Turner took his shirt off during lunch? <laughs> Remember when Isaac Settles didn't ask a question? Remember when we had singing Valentine? Remember when we had to do cat testing? Remember when we had milk bags instead of cartons? Remember when we had smiley face fries? Remember when Taylor Lawrence didn't have an attitude all the time? Remember Zach Bain versus Apollo? Remember when uh, Martha Hughes came to school on time? Remember when Philip Lance wasn't upset when Romney didn't win? Remember Jonah Clark's impeccable taste in women? Remember when Ms. Thurman didn't pick on the whole senior class? Remember when Ms. Fogel was a teacher? Remember when Zach May and Michael Bailey wore basketball jerseys and crops? Remember when Kevin also actually had a class? <laughs> Remember Zach Main's soccer career? <laughs> Remember when Austin and Aaron Clark didn't fight? Remember when April Morphew got stuck in a locker? Remember when Austin Clark and Geneva Payne wore banana costumes to say he's all Remember when Dutch Dorman wasn't smart but lazy? Remember when the whole school had field trips? Remember when Jose had one normal hairstyle? <laughs> Remember when Zach Garrett had, bald, had a bald head? <laughs> Remember when Dylan Quinn liked every girl? <laughs> Remember when DJ Devine hit on Joe Carroll every day? <laughs> Remember Miss Steitler from the middle school? Remember when Tyler Jewell looked like Jesus? <laughs> Remember when Alex Gray ripped his pants at first? <laughs> KD and Steven were chubby in middle school. Played a full season of football. <laughs> Remember when Abby Meyer didn't talk about this? <laughs> Remember when Dutch Rowan wasn't at school? Remember when you couldn't hear Anisha Brown? 
Remember when nobody knew of Waylon Williams? Remember when Graham Hill was short? Remember when Ben Harding didn't have a moped? Remember when we won the boys' championship in middle school for basketball? Woo! Remember when Mr. Irwin wasn't small? Wait, what, what? Remember when Tavis Tinsley wasn't brushing his hair? <laughs> Remember when Hadley Ross wasn't singing? When Seth, remember when Seth Reed wasn't throwing his golf club? <laughs> Remember when Mason Greenwell killed a kid in football? Remember when Michael Bailey had doo-doo balls in, in middle school? <laughs> Remember when no one ran for seconds at lunch? Remember when the underclassmen had normal colored hair? <laughs> Remember when people in the hallway didn't act like they were never going to see each other again? Remember when Michael Bailey hit his, pole, hit his head on the pole at the Romeo and Juliet? Alright, that's all of them. Thank you guys. <laughs> this one's got to make my door, don't you think? Outside my guy's door? That's an awesome picture. Well, yeah, copies for everybody. Okay. Okay, another few things to talk about. Um, we've got a few prizes to give away. I want to tell you what you're seeing up here. Chelsea Hardesty, get a little change back and come get that. Um, we've got some, from middle school, to my understanding, some of you wrote about your futures and your teachers. This is luck, it brought those back over to be delivered. We'll bring those to you in a bit. This uh, fancy red and black box compliments uh, Ryan Morales' artistic ability. The time capsule is very important because I know many of you all out there have um, photographs, uh, you might have um, newspaper articles, items from wherever you've been as far as uh, being a part of Winsor High School. 